Good afternoon, everyone. We are very glad to join Apache Conf Asia 2021. Today, we will introduce a distributed key value storage system, Texas, an Apache incubating project. The speech will be made by Jia Shuo and me. My name is He Yucheng, graduate from Renmin University of China. Now is the software engineering of Xiaomi, also the Apache Pegasus PPMC. Jia Shuo graduated from Beijing Jiao Tong University of China, joined Xiaomi two years ago. He is also the Apache Pegasus PPMC. This speech will have four parts. Firstly, I will give a basic introduction of Texas, then show some new features of it. After that, Jia Shuo will continue to introduce Texas surrounding ecosystem and our community. Let's go to the first part, basic introduction. As we all know, there has already lots of successful storage systems, such as Redis, HBase. And we also know any storage system suitable for all user cases doesn't exist. For Redis, it has wonderful performance because of its in-memory feature. But it's hard for Redis to meet persistent storage and strongly consistent at the same time. For each base, it supports strongly consistent, but it access data from remote HDFS. We'll have long tail latency rate. So we develop Texas. It is developed with CPP language and it's a local persistent storage strongly consistent, high-performance distributed key-value storage system. Here is the architecture of Texas. Texas used the classical central architecture. MetaServer is the cluster controller. It will manage cluster configuration and cluster metadata. Replica Server a data nodes. User data will be hash partitioned into replica. Every replica will store data in a RooksDB instance. And each replica will have one primary and two secondaries. Texas use Pacifica A to guarantee replica strongly consistent. Zookeeper is used for meta server election and the persistently store cluster metadata. For Texas client, it will cache data routing table when first connecting to the cluster. It will access to replica server strictly in normal cases. For data model, Texas is a key value storage. It supports two level data. The hash key is used for partitioning, and each hash key can have several sort keys. The sort keys will be sorted in byte order. This design can provide wider use, so support atomic multi-get, multi-set, and multi-delete. For read, write, delete several values under the same hash key. A special design for Texas is Texas has two red hat lock. Let's see the traditional solution first. When a client writes data, it will first write into the red hat lock and then write into the real storage system. We use RooksDB to store data and the RooksDB will compact the data background the compaction will occupy I.O. and CPU resources, sometimes even strongly affected the performance of Red Hat Log Sync Write. 
then affect uh, the right performance. In practice, replica server always have many disks. Texas will use one of them specially, storing the Red Hat log to avoid background compaction effect. But if all replicas store the Red Hat log together, it will cost a lot of time for backload or failover. So Texas choose the dual Red Hat log architecture. When the client write send to the server, it will first sync right into the shared log, then into the RoastDB instance. At the same time, async right into the private log. This design will reduce long tail write in practice. This is a benchmark of the newly re released. We use YCSB to get this test result. After the basic introduction, now I will introduce some new features of Pexus. The first one is duplication. Duplication is designed for cross-region online backup. The design is very simple. The source region will async transfer log to write requests and then send those write requests to the target region. Now we support single master and multi-master tool mode. A simple user case for duplication is online migration. User would like to migrate data across clusters and expect not stopping client read and client write during the migration. We can use code backup and duplication together to solve it. Firstly, let the source cluster table reserve its logs. Then, backup it onto the remote storage system such as HDFS. The next step is let the target cluster restore the table and start the, the duplication from the source to target. Finally, the target region will hold the same data with source region. The client will switch to the target table. Here is another classical use case. For example, in region one, client will read and write data. And in region two, the client only reads data from it. To avoid cross-region read, we will develop a master and slave cluster. In master cluster, client will write and read data. Then the data will be transferred by duplication. The client deployed in slave region can read data locally, but this read is eventually consistent. In future, we will do more to enhance this function, such as support master-master mode in practice. We now mostly deploy master-slave mode Besides, support more than two region duplication in practice. Duplication can also support remote disaster tolerate system. For example, the client usually only read and write from the master. When master region meets serious errors or totally unavailable, client can switch to the slave region. Actually, we now have already supported it, but the facility of it we are still developing, such as how to auto-switch the client to master and slave, and how to get the better user experience. Besides, here are also extensions of duplication. Now we only support duplication between Pexus clusters 
In future, we may also provide change data capture, transfer data into another system, such as Elasticsearch or RabbitMQ. It will be driven by the real user demand. Another useful feature is backload. Backload is designed for fastly import lots of data. Firstly, user can transfer original data into Pexas recognized SST files onto the remote file system, such as HDFS. It is supported by our tools, Pexas Spark. It will, in, it will introduce later. After generating the files, the server will download those files on Replica server, then ingest them into Pexas table. The whole backload process won't affect the user client, but during ingestion stage, it will reject the client right. We also support access control now. Like the Hadoop systems, we use Kerberos to do authentication. When the cluster opens the access control, the client should have a key type fields. The Pexas now support a white list based table level access control. Just like the graph shows, this client can only access table A but won't access table B. Finally, let's introduce partition split. Texas use hash partitioning. It is difficult to implement partition split. Our solution now only support all replica divide into two replicas together. As the graph shows, if the original partition count is four, the new partition count should be eight. Like the graph shows, the replica zero will be split into replica zero and replica four. The replica one will be split into replica one and replica five, and so on. For convenience, we call the old replica as parent, the new replica as child. When partition split starts, the first stage is child replica async learn from parent. The aim of the child replica is having same data with its parent. In this stage, the client only knows the parent replica and all requests will be sent to the parent. When child replica learn all data of parent, the primary parent replica will send the register request to meta server to register child replica. In this stage, we'll reject the client read and write temporarily. After registration, the partition split finished. Now, the parent and the child are totally different replica. The duplicated data will be garbage collected by the RoxDB compaction. All code has already been merged in master branch, and this feature will be supported in our next release. Now, let's welcome Jia Shuo to introduce the ecosystem and the community of Texas. Now, let me introduce some topics related to surrounding ecosystem and uh, community building. As we all know, the core part of the system provides uh, the most important functional features and we have provided rich ecological tools to better enhance Pexas. First of all, Pexas Spark, which provides a simple and easy to use connection to Spark, which is essentially an 
could be fill read write API in HTFS, where looks to be Java and uh, JNI. Two of the most important cases are the ability to analyze and load for offline data. For offline analysis, users first need to use data export tool to ex upload an offline snapshot on HGFS. You can either build uh, analysis tasks directly using Spark Circle or generate uh, packet field to import it into Hive for more analysis. Offline loading data is development for the backload function introduced by Eaton. Offline loading requires a download as a field from a remote field system. However, the generation of SRT fields requires strict rules. First, it uh, must be distinct, and then the number of replica must match target table. Finally, all data within a partition must be ordered and overlap free. So we can quickly convert any source state into a required SD field by Spark. Subsequently, uh, we will introduce meta proxy, which is essentially a connection proxy for Pegasus meta server. The main goal is to provide a unified access gateway. There are many benefits to do this. First, different clients no longer required to maintain the addresses of a different clusters. Then, if the address of the meta service is changed, there is no need to notify the client of any change to the meta server node. A significant advantage of this is that MetaProxy can transparently switch the client cluster to the standby cluster when the primary cluster fails for user who starts at duplication, which can enhance the desired tolerance of the system. The last tool we will recommend to you is the disk data migration tool. For the uneven disk usage, it can easily lead to capacity porting needs in distributed storage. Where multiple disk walls are used in the past, we often had to add new nodes but it uh, not only increased the costs, but sometimes infected, especially for replica maintained by bottleneck disk cannot be migrated to the new node. The disk data migration tool provides online real-time balancing capability, which first selecting the two disks with the highest and the lowest disk usage, then selecting the matched replica to migrate. Subside replica server needs to go through a series of processes, such as copy replica, close replica, reject new path or replica, and the last date sync between nodes. This process is uh, transparent to users, and you can hardly feel its impact. Okay, let me move on to topics related to communicative building. 
Pegasus initially launched its project and research in 2015 and released its first version a year later. In 2017, we started a stable version of 1.7.0 and opened on GitHub. And then joined the Apache in the following 2020. In September of the same year, we released a more stable version of 2.0.0, covering most of the features of this speech. In addition, the good news is that we are holding Texas Mac up at the end of August this year. When we will share more about what is behind the design of distributed storage. Communication activism is a key force of our attention. To encourage people to join and build communications, we recommend that contributors start with two key development which includes a range of enhancements, such as client, shell, and so on. In the future, we will enhance the stability of existing future, such as uh, duplication, backload, hold partition, detect, and we will provide new and more complete features such as fast level balancing, and an important feature support uh, Kubernetes. Again, we welcome you to pay attention to our meetup event in Beijing in August. You can also pay attention to our GitHub and uh, WeChat public. Thank you.